Hey everyone, it's Megan with ClubRubyDesigners.com. Thank you so much for joining me today for another video. So excited to be sharing this June kit. I absolutely love this birthday month. I'm going to be sharing with you guys something from the Forever Young Cricut cartridge. I've been kind of featuring both the Forever Young and the Birthday Bash cartridge this month, um, just for the fun of birthdays and everything else. And today I'm going to make a fun little gift bag or a little gift purse um, to give to somebody, like a little girl or something, for her birthday. And I thought we'd fill it with nail polish and it would be really, really cute because there's a really cute little purse in here and it has a little nail polish on it so we're just going to expound on that and we're gonna make a cute little um, gift so we're gonna do this really quick so simple just load in your paper I am using the Funfetti Bright this is the girls from the more of the girl pattern with the pink and purple I'm gonna do fit to page okay and then I'm just going to press the nail polish which is right here and that's gonna do this purse when we press the per per purse create a function and then the nail polish fit to page right here it's gonna pop up really quick and simple and we're gonna pay attention to the size that it cuts it out at you can do okay to see how big it'll make it it's five and a quarter inches so remember five and a quarter and we'll press cut Okay, so it finished cutting that out. I'm gonna unload. Now we're gonna save this entire outer piece of paper because we're gonna create a scrapbook layout that matches this purse that you can give as a gift to go along um, with the gift or you know, hold on to it to scrapbook the event yourself or whatever it would be. So I think it'll be really cute to coordinate everything together. And we're just going to do this purse really quick and simple. I'm gonna place this pieces together. Hold on to the little nail polish uh, cutout, a little nail polish bottle. We're gonna hold on to that. And we're going to hold on to this other piece. Now you can cut out, you can cut out the interior piece right here, but I found that sometimes just using things like from the handle from the handle here, it fits inside and you just need to trim it down a little bit and then you don't have to cut out an extra piece. Now if you needed it to be a totally different color on a different piece of paper, then you wanna go ahead and cut it out. But we're just gonna trim this one down to fit inside perfectly. All right, so we're gonna turn off our Cricut for the rest of this project. We're going to grab a scoreboard. I'm gonna use my score pal, this is from Diana Crick, I really like the score pal a lot because of um, you get really deep, clean uh, score lines without um, cutting through. So you just want to find where those little dash lines are. The Cricut does little dash lines for you, and you just line them up on your score pal and go right across. So if you take a look here, if you kind of bend the paper just a little bit, you can see that little bit of a score, a little bit of a dash line. Just a slight little slit, and that note that is where you need to fold or score your paper. We'll just go around all those little spots. So now that you have everything all folded, we need to glue it together and it's really, really simple to do. We're going to start by gluing right along here. I'm using the um, Crafters Companion Glue Runner that we included in the May kit. So if you didn't get the May kit for some reason and you have the June kit, I think there are a couple left at craftycorner.com. And if you're an Advantage member, you do get the discount still on the kit if you still want the May kit. Um, but I'm just going to fold these little pieces right on top, line them up. They go right on top of there. It's so easy. You just line them up and glue them down. And then this little piece goes right in between and they kind of layer on top of each other and you can kind of do this whole piece together kind of thing. So that just pops in there and then we glue this side. So I'm gonna grab some glue for here. I'm just gonna fold that out. And this Crafters Companion glue works so well for holding things together when you really press it it has a really great stronghold compared to most others. And if you really want it to be even stronger, a stronger hold than what this is, I would recommend grabbing some score pal tape that will really hold things together for you well. All right, and then I'm gonna stick some nail polishes right inside. It's gonna bulge just a little tiny bit, but three fit in here 
okay. You just want to make sure your glue is really stuck where it needs to be so that it doesn't go anywhere and your bags is, isn't bursting open before you give it. All right, so that is how it's supposed to go. This comes down over top and it closes just like that. So how cute and adorable. Now you can either fill this in with this piece, which is what I think I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut this down a little bit. I don't need to cut it down a whole lot. I just kinda need to pencil out where I need it to be. So you can grab either a pencil or a pen or something and I'm just gonna do a couple quick little sketch lines right along the side. That's how big I need it to be. That quick and that simple. And then you just trim it out. So you can grab a pair of scissors, keep it pretty straight and clean. Or you can use paper trimmer to keep it even cleaner. Just sort of sketched right where it needed to go. I'm gonna open my bag back up, line it up inside, make sure. Yep, that fits perfectly. And you can still open, put in the um, slot where it needs to go, which is great. You can grab a little bit of your glue right along the side maybe just a little bit along that very bottom edge. Go all the way down along the bottom. All right, so again, I'm just gonna stick my nail polish right back inside. You can get those little tiny mini bottles. They're available for like 88 cents at, you know, like your Walmarts or Targets or things like that. These were, I think, 99 cents a piece. I picked them up at Target. And if you want, you can use a little bit of a zig, like a two-way glue, and place that inside, wait for it to dry, and then close it, and then that'll give it a little bit more of a uh, temporary hold to keep the bag closed if you're really worried about it staying closed or, or what have you. Now, since this is nail polish, I wanna give it some fun bling. So I'm going to grab my Viva Decor Gloss Gel. This is in Walmart Brown, Walnut Brown. And I'm going to go in just a diagonal pattern right along the top here, just to give it a little bit of fun, just like that. A little gloss. I'm gonna grab some Viva Decor Glitter Liner in the silver color. And I'm just going to glitterize, just zig right on down, the nail polish bottle. So that's gonna give it the bling. I'll wait for that to dry. And that is how quick and simple we have a really cute little gift bag. Now you can put a tag on this or do whatever you need to do to give it as a full gift, but we're going to just set this aside, wait for it to dry. We're gonna create a scrapbook layout going along with the same theme. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and have a great day and I'll see you again real soon. Bye.